In this video, we're going to learn about end of arm tools for robots. An end of arm tool is also called the EOAT, the end effector, or the claw. Whatever the robot uses to pick and place objects, draw, glue, weld, cut, insert, poke things, whatever application, whatever the robot has to do, the tool on the end is what helps it do it. Now, we're going to go deeper into the details on picking and placing. So for that, there are three types of end of arm tools. Magnet, suction, and gripper. The magnet is used for smooth ferrous objects. So ferrous means it's magnetic. And basically, the, the way it works is the magnet can be either electrically or pneumatically activated. So it'll be off until the robot gets close to the part. And then it'll activate. So the magnet turns on, then it, the piece of metal snaps into it, and then the robot will move it to wherever it needs to, and then turn off the magnet so that it can release the object. Now, pros and cons to this is basically you don't have to get super accurate with the magnet. You can just get close onto the part and it'll snap in. But then on the flip side, there is a mag the magnet can sometimes pick up more than one object. Like you can see here in this picture in the middle, it's got the extra block of steel connected to it. Now, because there's not a whole lot of contact on that part, then it might drop off on the way, but then it could smash on something else. You want to shape the magnet so that it kind of fits onto your part with as much contact as possible. So you probably want a chamfered edge if you're picking up something round or a flat edge if you're picking up something flat. Suction cups are the most generic type of end of arm tool. So these are used for smooth objects. Almost any type of smooth object really can be picked up. So paper, plastic, glass, wood, metal, pretty much anything. And the suction cups can be used either just one giant cup or they could be combined into different patterns or shapes in order to pick up objects of different sizes. You can even program it so that only certain su suction cups will turn on at a time, depending on how large the object is that you're trying to pick up. So these pictures show some examples of ways that a robot could use a suction tool. Now, these are examples of different suction cups. Depending on the size and the material of the object that the robot is trying to pick up and also its shape, then different suction cups can be used. So you can see here on the bottom that the suction cup for wood, for plastic or paper film, and for glass are each shaped a little bit different. Finally, a gripper is used for squishy or irregular objects. Usually the gripper is part specific. So it, the amount that it opens and closes will be large enough to fit around the part, uh, but uh, small enough that it will still get on, but then not squish all the way. Because you don't want the gripper to pinch so hard that it snaps your object. So a really common one that you'll see is an arcade claw. But also, grippers can have different numbers of fingers. They can have two fingers, three fingers, four fingers. They can pinch outer diameter. They can pinch inner diameter. They can even pinch on the edge. So when you're trying to pick the right end of arm tool for a job, figure out what object it is that you need to lift and pick the type of tool that matches that the most closely. Then you can get into more of the nitty gritty details with calculations once you know the size, shape, acceleration, pressure, uh, friction, whatever else that you need to know about actually picking up the part so that you can pick the right size magnet or suction cup or gripper. 